I always get questions, Craig, that say, which choice best describes the function of the underlying sentence in the text as a whole? And I don't even read the text. In fact, if I had read the text, I would have chosen the wrong answer. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can also manage to do that. Let's take a look at an example. We won't read the text, of course. We'll just read the underlined sentence. Because Timber could only have been transported from distant Jura to Rome by boat, the team's findings suggest the complexity of Roman trade routes. The first thing I do is I ask myself, what is this? Is it a conclusion, a claim, an introduction, a question, or an example? And then I ask myself, what is a simple summary on what this sentence is about? First of all, this is a conclusion about the team's findings. And second of all, the sentence is about how complex Roman trade routes are. Now let's check the multiple choices. A. It presents a conclusion about Roman trade routes based on the team's findings. That makes a lot of sense since it is a conclusion and it talks about Roman trade routes. B. It questions how the team was able to conclude that the planks were used to build a boat. This doesn't make sense since the underlined sentence doesn't question anything and it doesn't talk about what the boats were made from. C. It explains why the planks were made from oak rather than a different kind of wood. The underlined sentence doesn't talk about the planks material. So this is wrong. D. It describes common methods used in Roman subway construction. The underlined sentence doesn't talk about the many ways Roman uh, subways were constructed. So therefore, choice A is the right answer. Let's take a look at another example. As usual, we will not read the entire text to prevent ourselves from getting confused and wasting time. The landscape outspread below her seemed an enlargement of her present mood, and she found something of herself in its calmness, its breadth, its long free reaches. First of all, what is this? Is the conclusion, claim, an introduction, a question, or an example? Well, we can see that it is a description about a girl in a landscape. And what is a simple summary on what the sentence is about? The landscape made her calm and relaxed. So it is a description about a girl in a landscape that has made her happy, calm, and re relaxed. Choice A. It creates a detailed image of the physical sitting setting of this scene. No, this is wrong. The underlined sentence doesn't describe the landscape. It describes the emotions it brought the girl. Choice B. It establishes that the character is experiencing an internal conflict. Nowhere in the underlined sentence does it mention anything about internal conflict, so that's definitely wrong. Choice C. It makes an assertion that the next sentence then expands on. So let's read the sentence after the underlined sentence. On the near slopes, the sugar maple swavered like pyres of light. Lower down was a massing of gray orchards, and here and there, the lingering green of an oak grove. This just explains the landscape, so there was no assertion or statement made. D. It illustrates an idea that is introduced in the previous sentence. So let's read the sentence before it. Lily had no real intimacy with nature, but she had a pas passion for the appropriate and could be keenly sensitive to a scene which was the fitting background of her own sensations. This means that Lily appreciates things. As we can see, Lily really appreciated the landscape. Therefore, choice D is the right answer since it said that the idea was introduced in the previous sentence. So choice D is the right answer. Here's another example from a novel. Let's look at the underlined sentence. The trees seem to extend their branches like welcoming arms. So what is this? Well, this is a short description of a tree. And what is a simple summary on what the sentence is about? Well, it talks about how the trees are so welcoming. And if you add them both together, you get a short description of welcoming trees. Let's look, at the, let's look at the multiple choices. A. It suggests that Shakti feels uncomfortable near the river, but the underlined sentence doesn't talk about any river. Choice B. It indicates that Shakti has lost her sense of direction in the woods. 
There is no sign in the underlying sentence to tell the person is lost in the woods. C. It emphasizes Shakti's sense of belonging in the landscape. This makes sense since the trees are welcoming, which would suggest that the woods and Shakti are like friends. D. It conveys Shakti's appreciation for her long-term friends. There is no sign to show that she appreciates her long-term friendships. So, choice C is the right answer.